the Democratic Party is uh, in the process of losing a generation of young Democratic voters, uh, whether that's to the Green Party or to Trump or staying home. Uh, I won't stay home. I apologize. I won't stay home. I won't vote for Trump. But in my head right now, I'm trying to decide whether or not my 18 years as a registered Democrat, registered Democrat, my lifetime as a Democrat is more important to me than stepping away and fighting for something that may lose again. But how is that any different than right now? I am here uh, to fight for what I believe in so my kids don't have to when they get to be my age. It was a grassroots effort uh, called the Coalition of 57 uh, that was made up of, or at least the goal was to uh, have it made up of two grassroots whips from each Bernie delegation from all 57 states and territories involved in the primary process. Uh, yesterday, uh, when there was a lot of scream, a lot of, I guess, booing and uh, things kind of seemed like they were getting out of hand, we were a lot of the reason uh, why silence came after that. We decided to uh, contact each other through our whips reach out to the delegations and uh, try to tell them to save their voices for tonight and use silence as our weapon yesterday. I believe in chaos for a purpose, you can say, or demonstration, protest for purpose. I think a lot of the stuff that you're seeing now and there was some events that were going on late, late night last night here, there isn't really a purpose. So we need to gather, we need to regroup, we need to focus on now what do we fight for moving forward? That's my thought over the last couple of days is if we don't have a candidate to fight for, we need to remind ourselves about the ideas that, let, that drove us to him and that it was the ideas that were really driving us the whole time, not the man. We can still make progress as long as we continue to be engaged. And if we as voters become apathetic again and decide to stay home and watch TV and bitch on social media, that that's not how you create change. We were active for a year and look at the platform. It's not real and concrete yet, but it's something that we can hold them accountable to. And if we can do that, then we can get change. But if we walk away, then Hillary goes back to the center, the Democratic Party goes back to the center, and all the platforms we fought so hard for disappear. I don't want Trump to be elected. I really don't want Trump to be elected. But I think at some point in time, standing up for your beliefs is more important than an election. Speaking to your heart and your convictions your beliefs and just sometimes making a statement is worth, I don't know what it would be worth.